Well, here we are. I find myself at the incredible number nine gallery where Birmingham's greatest impresario, Mr. Lee Benson, my old China, is currently hanging a show of my paintings. I'm a little, I'm a very humble by it all. I've never seen them like this. I've only ever seen them in a garage, and, uh, <laughs> which some of you might think is the appropriate place for them. But um, they look great on the wall. Oh, and, there's uh, a lot of space in this. When you see it on the white wall, Brian. Yeah. The colours start to jump out. The it, well, it, that was the idea, the movement, you know, the energy. And these were all about, um, well, it's about sketches of Spain and Miles Davis, Gil Evans' album, those ones in the background. And Concerto de Arante is an album we did with Gil Evans. But um, there's lots of stuff. And uh, there's a torso. Works, doesn't it? Yeah, it works great. Look what Lee's done. I painted them as separate pictures, trying to create movements and stuff. And Lee's boxed them and framed them. And uh, here's, a, here's the ocean there. In, in California, that works, isn't it? It yeah. works great. Yeah, lovely. I, think, I find this a little bit. <laughs> that's a bit. That's a bit full on. I believe that's Miles Davis, isn't it? It is. <laughs> well, you know, if you're work, if you're listening to uh, Miles Davis's oeuvre and playing his tunes, not and, only does it look good, you should feel the weight. Of the the weight of that. I know. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of paint you, on there. You get a lot of paint. You get a lot of paint on that canvas. A lot of paint for your book. You get with this show. And uh, and this one, I think that's uh, Dexter Gordon. Which people might say, well, that doesn't look like Dexter Gordon. Well, it sounds like Dexter Gordon to me when he's playing the beautiful noises he used to make. And rumour has it this is you. That's, self -portrait. A, that's a self portrait of me. Well, that's me and my shadow. There's the other one over there's there. there. Yeah, it's good now. And so I'm shooting through two incredible David Begbie two dimensional uh, sculptures. I've got a three dimensional one at home, but they're quite incredible. It's all about the shadows and the cast on the walls. and. Uh, and we can't tell people about that space because that's a little secret for tomorrow. Oh, okay. For fifty, the... all the glassery, fifty all together. Okay. And I thought it's got to go for the DBs, hasn't it? Well, Big black frame white. It's well, going to be I the can't wait to this. see. And now, tell us about this because this, this is a lovely it's the chameleon. And it's called chameleon, yeah. right? And if, I'm going to close in, and you'll see a kind of image, and that's Grace Jones, really. And I was just thinking about, and I, you know, I don't play her records a great deal, but I was thinking about. She really is a chameleon, you know, and she, she moulds herself to whatever the vibe is, and she's really essential about it, and she's an incredible woman. And, um, that one and, album of hers. And we kind of worked this between us, me and Lee. I painted the pictures. The background is actually a, a piece of cardboard on the floor. It's a tip that caught the paints, and it's been there for a couple of years. I didn't intend a single mark on there, but on the, on the actual canvases that have been mounted on it, I did. And... Uh, and Lee, that was Lee's idea. It's great, man. I'm, I'm really pleased. I'm, uh, there's I more think, to come. I think that's come together really well. That's, it's, it's powerful. It's dramatic. This makes such an interesting background now with those sitting on it. It's three-dimensional. Um, no, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, these are for, you know, if you've got big, giant white walls, really, they'll really, uh, you, you know, the, the point is, Lee, I'm asking the questions. It isn't all art about just asking a question, you know, or whether it's music, painting, whatever it might be, whatever kind of expression, we're simply asking people, what do you, what do you think, what do you say? It's like a Rorschach test, it's uh, what does that tell you? And what you can look at these things and, and you'll get your own from it, you'll get what you want from it. Yeah, I mean, there are people that just dismiss it. Then you just add a little element of story and the whole thing changes. Thank you, yeah, well, you know. Then they start to look a little bit further and realise yeah. there is a story behind all these But things. absolutely, oh yeah, oh my... I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a painting of Las Vegas, believe it or not. It's from a hotel, and I was way out of town, and everything was silver and grey. It looked like, looked like a desert was made out of metal. And I just made notes and uh, painted it later. And, and there's a, a landscape, which is just a lot of paint thrown around, but that's what it looks like when you look out in the back of my house towards Staffordshire. And, uh, and, and a glorious sunset. And a little sunset. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just, yeah. I mean, you can feel the warmth, can't you? I was trying to, yeah. yeah. And, and the water was cold. The sun was hot and the water was cold. You weren't surfing then. I wasn't surfing, <laughs> no. no. There were people out there doing it. There's some paintings of the sea up there. And I'm, kind of a, I'm kind of intrigued by the sea. It's, just, it's, a, it's, own, it's got its own energy. It never looks the same, ever. And one from called Birdland. Which is a club Charlie Parker and Dizzy used to play at in New York. Incredible jazz club. There's a few of them around. Some more of those uh, Spanish paintings. And then we have had to add this. This was lying in your garage, wasn't it? <laughs> it had to be. I forced you to finish this. 
Frank. It does add the sense of je ne sais quoi. To well, thank you. <laughs> That's Frank. He was a Frank. he was a, a wooden water god I bought in Zimbabwe yeah. in 1981. A year, you know, it seems all strange. And Mugabe got in, and all these freedom concerts. And Bob Marley played the one year. We played the next, and. Uh, 